And we've also received requests from other DeFi ecosystems outside of the Cardano ecosystem to have Jed uh, on Ethereum, to have Jed on Binance Smart Chain, just to name a few, because DeFi participants in this ecosystem also wants a stable coin that they can rely on. What is going on Cardano Nation? As you guys just heard right there, Jed will be going multi-chain. Now, my name is Farid here, and as a part of today's video, I want to break down some of the latest developments surrounding Jed, IUSD, and the growing Cardano stablecoin ecosystem. First things first, I want to jump in and do a brief comparison of the TVL and market cap of Jed versus IUSD, which are the two most prominent stablecoins right now on Cardano. And keep in mind that we are expecting the launch of USDA, which is going to be a fiat back stablecoin. On that similar note, we did see a recent um, closure of Shares Lake, which actually had one of the first fiat back stablecoins on Cardano. And so we're now down to Jed and IUSD for the time being. Now, once we wrap up that comparison in terms of TVL and market cap between Jet and IUSD, I want to jump in and actually take a look at some Jet farming opportunities. After that, I want to talk about some recent Jet use cases, as well as the fact that the Jet protocol has officially reduced the operational fees as well as the mint and burn fees for their token. In closing, I want to talk about the fact that Jet is going to be multi-chain with a recap of an actual video released by Shahaf Barjeffin, who is going to be the lead for the Cody and the Jet protocol. Now, with that said, if you guys appreciate this kind of content here, then make sure to tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by the channel, consider subscribing. And last but not least, I am a single stake pool operator. And if you guys want to support me on my mission to educate the Barter Cardano community, then consider delegating with the official DAP Central stake pool, which is stake pool ticker DAPP. Without taking up any more time, let's jump into the very first bit for today's content, which is going to be a comparison of the market cap and TVL between Jed and IUSD. So I'm now visiting DeFiLama.com and what we're now looking at is going to be the Cardano TVL. Scrolling down here, we can see that coming in at number two, we have the Indigo Protocol with a total TVL of $19.3 million US. Now, keep in mind, this 19.3 million US represents not only the TVL locked in for IUSD, but also IETH and IBTC. If you guys are not aware, Indigo currently has three synthetic assets right now, with I believe more on the way. So scrolling down a little bit further, we now have 11.62 million locked into Jed, which right now is only the stable coin. So we can't necessarily compare these two apples um, or as apples to apples, given that IUSD's TVL right here does include two additional I assets. So I've done a little bit of research here and we're going to actually break this down to make sure that we get a pretty um, decent comparison here, solely looking at IUSD versus Jed. So in order to do that, I'm going to jump over into the Jed website here. And as you guys can see, we right now have a total circulating supply of 2.3 million Jed. Now, in order to derive the market cap for any given asset, all you need to do is take the circulating supply and multiply that by the value of the asset. So in this case here, we have 2.3 million Jed circulating. And since each Jed token is representing a dollar, that gives us a market cap of $2.3 million. Now, in order to calculate the TVL, we can take this base reserve here, which is actually equivalent to about 11.68 million Jed or $11.68 million, which is backing this asset. So we have a market cap of 2.3 million and a TVL of about 11.6 million. Now, this gives us a collateral ratio of about 507%. Now, jumping into the comparison here with IUSD, as a part of the latest stats released by the Indigo team, we can see that the TVL for um, IUSD is currently sitting or was currently sitting on March 9th at $13.36 million US with a market cap of $6.52 million US. 
So I've got a slide here basically comparing these values side by side. And so as a recap here, with JET on the left-hand side and IUSD on the right-hand side, we've got a comparison of 2.3 million US for JET versus 6.5 million US in terms of market cap. And so we have a higher market cap here in IUSD versus the TVL, which JET has $11.6 million locked and IUSD has a total of $13.36 million locked. Now, in terms of collateral ratio, as we just saw, this is about a 500% collateral ratio for JED, which makes it extremely over collateralized versus IUSD, which has a slightly um, lower collateral ratio. Nonetheless, it is collateralized by a factor of 200%. So both of these are very over collateralized, therefore reducing the risk that there could be a DPEG event because we have so much in the reserved locked in order um, to basically mitigate any of those issues. So that's the first bit of news there that I wanted to do was just a brief compare of the um, stablecoin market cap and TVL. Now, the next thing I wanna jump into is going to be the jet farming. And so if you guys are not aware, you can actually go ahead and provide liquidity on the top three DEXs right now in Cardano, which are gonna be Wing Riders, MinSwap, and Muesli Swap. So if I jump back over here, you can see that if you're providing liquidity right now on wing riders for the ADA slash jet pair, you're going to be able to earn 134%. Now, if you're providing liquidity for ADA and Shen, you're going to be able to earn about 16%. Moving over into MinSwap for ADA and Jed, that's about a 29% return. I believe that this is going to be an APR. So keep in mind that this is going to be over the course of 12 months versus ADA and Shen, which is going to provide a return of about 10.63%. Very lastly, taking a look at Muesli Swap for the ADA slash JET trading pair, you can earn up to 27%. And then for ADA Shen on Muesli Swap, that's sitting at about 14.5%. So again, really good opportunities here for this token. And I do believe that IUSD also has a similar um, feature here where you are able to provide liquidity on DEXs in order to earn as well. The next thing I want to mention is going to be recently highlighted JED use cases. So if you guys are not familiar with Liquid, they're going to be a DeFi protocol supporting lending and borrowing on Cardano, which launched at the very beginning of February. That said, they currently hold anywhere between seven to nine million dollars locked on their protocol, and they've recently adopted uh, the use case for JED. So you can now lend and borrow JED using their platform. And if you lend out JED, you can actually earn from the JED that you lend out. And then if you are borrowing JED, you'll have to pay a minor interest rate for the amount of JED that you're borrowing. Another recently highlighted use case, again, in DeFi, was surrounding the AADA Finance Protocol. Again, this is going to be a DeFi protocol supporting lending and borrowing on Cardano. However, this platform is taking a peer-to-peer -peer approach. And so this basically means that you're going to be um, collaborating or having a smart contract between you and another user on the platform, as opposed to Liquid, which takes a peer-to-pool approach where they've got a set pool with all of the assets that are available to be lent and borrowed. Now, I do want to mention that AADA Finance will also be going towards a peer-to-pool model, but right now they are peer-to-peer. -peer. And so as a part of their fourth governance proposal, we did see the adoption of JED as an asset that you can go ahead and actually lend and borrow against as well. So two updates there when it comes to lending and borrowing. And then very lastly, what I want to highlight here is going to be the JED ecosystem. So we've already seen JED incorporated into Liquid, which is here on the lending and borrowing, as well as AADA Finance. We're also expecting for it to be added into Paribus. And if you guys are not familiar with Paribus, they just announced that they will be launching on the mainnet on March 28th. So another protocol coming online in which we should see, in which we should see, excuse me, JED being incorporated into. On the lending and borrowing side of things as well, we do also have MELD, which is not listed on this graphic here, but MELD is going to be a lending and borrowing protocol as well on Cardano, which is currently being tested on the test net. So that's going to be four relatively large DeFi protocols incorporating JED. In terms of wallet support, we've got Jiro, Revuto, and Thrift. We've also got some additional platforms like DEXs, which include AdaSwap, MuesliSwap, SundaySwap, ErgoDEX, Cardax, Genius Yield, which should be launching soon, and we've already touched on MinSwap and Wing Riders. In terms of decentralized cloud services, we've got Iagon, which is currently on their testnet. And in terms of launch pads, we've got Gata, 
a starter card shift and i would assume that we would also see the genius uh x platform here which has officially launched already on the cardano mainnet that said as you guys can see we've just got a growing ecosystem here looking to support jet and as these protocols come online we should see them basically add more liquidity therefore adding additional market cap and tvl for the jet platform the next thing I want to talk about here is going to be the fact that the JET team has made additional updates to reduce the operational fees as well as the mint and burn fees for the JET platform. If you guys are not aware, the team had announced a relatively high amount um, when it comes to minting and burning JET on their official platform, basically reducing the amount of regular traders like yourself and I using the actual JET.xyz website to mint and burn. If you do want to pick up the JET um, token or the Shen token um, in relatively smaller amounts, you can do that using DEXs such as MinSwap, MuesliSwap, and WingRiders. That said, as a part of this update here, we saw the minimum minting amount for JET reduced from 5,000 JET all the way down to 1,000 JET. In terms of the minimum burn amount, again, going from 1,000 JET to only 200 JET. So this makes the platform a lot more usable by everyday members like yourself and I. In terms of Shen, which is going to be the reserve token for the JET protocol, the minimum mint amount used to be 5,000 Shen. That has also been reduced down to 1,000 Shen, whereas the minimum burn amount was previously previously set to 2500 shen and it's now going to be set at 500 shen in terms of the operational fees which are basically the transaction fees every time you make a mint or a burn that has been reduced from 100 ada all the way down to 25 ada again this is going to be huge here making this platform a lot more accessible when it comes to minting and burning for the general public now, I also want to mention that if you hold the Shen Reserve token, um, which again is going to be the um, asset backing the JED token, you're going to be able to earn um, ADA staking rewards. So as a part of that collateral that sits behind the JED token, they will be taking that and providing that um, into different stake pools, therefore earning traditional ADA staking rewards. So it reads here, on another positive note, the first distribution of delegation rewards for Shen holders has started and rewards are currently being distributed to eligible Shen holders. Now, this was posted about a week and a half ago, and I believe that this has already gone out and we're now going to be expecting the second round of Shen token rewards coming out very soon. If you guys are not aware, these tokens will be distributed approximately every 20 days or about every four Cardano epochs, which last five days each. Scrolling down towards the very bottom here, the team has also made additional user um, interface improvements here, adding some sliders to make it easier to mint and burn Shen and Jet. And then they've also incorporated Elliptic, which is going to be a platform allowing for them to monitor the compliance of the actual protocol. So tons of really solid updates there. And then in closing, what I want to mention here is going to be the fact that moving forward, we are going to see additional versions of Jet coming online. So right now we are, I believe, at JED version 1.1.1, which is going to be referred to as Minimal JED, which takes advantage of the Vassal Hard Fork updates, which has also been audited. Um, and again, this is what's currently live right now. As a part of 1.2, we will see the actual smart contracts for Vassal being deployed and used. And then as a part of three or version 1.3, which is going to be called extended jet, we're going to see dynamic minting and burning fees and enhanced support for delegation. Now, one thing that I want to mention here as a part of future plans for jet, it states part of our future plan is to add additional assets aside ADA as collateral to mint and burn jet. Our plan is to add other coins, especially wrapped assets like wrapped BTC and wrapped Ethereum as collateral to mint JET on the Cardano network. So that is probably the biggest update there. Again, um, the collateral will not only be using ADA, they will be adding additional assets there as well. Now, as a part of the main update for today's video, I want to highlight the fact that the JET protocol or the JET stablecoin will be coming to the Binance Smart Chain as well as Ethereum. As a part of the latest Cody update by Shahaf Barjeffin, who's going to be the CEO and lead for Cody as well as the stablecoin, he mentioned that this transition will be happening very soon due to the recent collapses that we've seen with 
within the banking industry and the regulatory scrutiny coming to C5 protocols. And so that said, Jed did do an amazing job of continuing to stay pegged during the last banking crisis in which we saw the USDC stablecoin actually depeg from a value of a single dollar. So without taking up any more time, I'm going to play this brief clip here and then we're going to close out today's video. So let's talk about Jed. So last week's events caused some market turbulence and we've seen major stable coins losing their peg. It was USDC, DAI, FRAX, uh, just to name a uh, few. Uh, JED did not lose its peg. Now, why is it so? JED is decentralized. It does not rely on fiat or, or someone, you know, messing with the peg. It's over collateralized, so it can be backed with crypto and hence it's also verifiable. You can see the collateral on chain and this is why the trust remains and this is why JED did not lose its peg even though much bigger stablecoins lost their peg. What does it mean? It means that, you know, first of all, we've seen high demand for JED uh, the last few days, right? And, and the record trading volume on DEXs. And we've also received requests from other DeFi ecosystems outside of the Cardano ecosystem to have JED uh, on Ethereum, to have JED on Binance Smart Chain, just to name a few, because DeFi participants in this ecosystem also want a stablecoin that they can rely on. So it was always in, in, in the plans. Now it becomes uh, a plan that we, uh, that we will probably exercise much faster. So JED will be on other chains as well, uh, obviously on, on Ethereum uh, and, and Binance Smart Chain, that just to name a few. It will probably be on other chains uh, as well because, you know, DeFi ecosystems need a stable coin that is stable and reliable. So this is one big thing that is happening. The, the, also, the other big thing is the opportunity for uh, shareholders, obviously, because the increased demand for, for JED, and obviously if JED can go to DeFi ecosystems that are by definition bigger, then it means a lot more fees, and this grows the value of shareholders. It also grows the APY for Koti's treasury participants, there you guys go. You just heard the breaking news from Shahaf himself. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. I'm super excited for all of the developments here being done by the Jet and the Cody team. And I think moving forward, this will only bolster the strength and resilience of the Jet stablecoin. On top of that, we should see an increase as this is rolled out on different ecosystems when it comes to TVL and market cap. I'm also interested in wondering though, or in knowing what you guys think will be the top stable coin within the Cardano ecosystem moving forward, given that we now have IUSD and then we also have the USDA token being released by Emergo on the way. As always, if you guys found this update here to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you guys could tap that like button. If it's your first time stopping by this channel and you appreciate updates just like this surrounding the builders in the Cardano ecosystem, then consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you guys have any questions for me or if you want to support the channel, then make sure to go ahead and delegate with the DAP Central Stake pool and leave those comments down below. As always, I will see you guys in the next video.